When I woke up on a cold Wednesday morning and looked out the back of our house, at least for a little while, the heartache of the past week was erased by the beauty of the world. Welcome, welcome, Sabbath morning, now we rest from every care. Welcome, welcome, is thy dawning, holy Sabbath day of prayer. Some people, like me, were pretty lucky. Sandy didn't do them too much harm. We just moved here full time a week ago. <laughs> so how many days before the storm did you enjoy? I want to say four or five. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to evacuate. <laughs> now, did you get water in your house or anything? In a foyer, but that's it. And we no, live on the second floor. The yeah, yeah. Oh, so a boy. lot of wet stuff that was in the foyer in the garage. Well, hey, best of luck. <laughs> I made my way over to my stepson Darren's house. He was not one of the lucky ones. Darren and I made a video tour of the extensive damage to their home. It was kind of overwhelming. Water had come inside, and that meant they would have to gut the house. So this is the front entrance, street side, haven side, coming into the living room kitchen. The floor from underneath is buckled in a lot of places. It's really hard to see on the camera, but you see the big roll on the floor in the kitchen. By the fridge, you see that big roll. You can really see it where the carpet where the carpet is. Oh, yeah. Looks like the subfloor is buckling. You see where the water was. There's a water line here on the edge of the couch. The carpet's wet. It's just the same story throughout. There's actually some sanding water in the bathroom that you can't really see with the camera, but there's over by the tub, there's some sanding water. Oh boy. In the bedroom, floor's buckled. There's a, a mildewy smell in here, too. I just opened the windows. Yeah. Through the whole house, just, this, this room was closed up. Oh man, this is one lumpy floor. Yeah. Look at the angle of that. Darren and his wonderful wife, Terry, are strong people. Yet it was obvious that they were both in a state of shock. I was very happy to see my wonderful Nancy finally make it back home and embrace her son. But despite their pain, Darren and Terry went to work. All around their house was a thick layer of mud Darren decided that the one thing he could do was to make a clean perimeter. The upstairs unit is owned by Terry's sister, so Terry started moving what was salvageable upstairs. But the thing that they did that impressed me the most was to make sure their two young kids felt safe and secure. What happened to your house? The whole downstairs has been filled with water and we have to change everything. But I, I think it's gonna be fine when it's all done. Marrying a nice Italian girl like Terry was the smartest thing Darren ever did. Terry's family is large and loving and they arrived over the next few days like Patton's army. It's a lot of work. You have to come in and check it out. Mom and Dad and the 
the family has been um, taking out the rugs and getting all the furniture and stuff upstairs. What happened to make all that happen? Because Hurricane Sandy has hit us really bad and we have to clean up on it. My room upstairs. I Sophia and I is my room. So now it, my room started as plaid upstairs and then I got all my things from downstairs and I made it my Sophia eyes room. Jim Sourbeer was like the general of this army. You are the future brother-in-law? Nine days. <laughs> okay, and so what did you guys do? We demolished the couch and a chair to get it outside, it was soaked, so that went out. Once that was out, this room was clear, so we started taking the carpet out. Once we got the carpet out and the sub padding underneath the carpet, there was a particle board kind of padding on top of the plywood. Started taking that out, it was all wet, so we got it out, put the fans on it, and we slowly started moving through the rooms, moving furniture to one side, ripping up the carpet, ripping up the padding, ripping up the particle board, moving the furniture to the other side, ripping all that stuff out. The idea is just try to get as much wet stuff out as possible. I don't know if it's the right thing, but that's what we did. Jim is now picking sweet potatoes from the garden. <laughs> Slightly salty, but uh, should be good. Jim, why are you being such a nice guy? How come you're helping out? That's what people do. That's what people do. That's a, that's a good one. Being more handy with a video camera than a pickaxe, I decided to leave these guys to their labors and head up to the north end of Ocean City. This is the wonderful restaurant Pacini's. How bad was it? Uh, water line there, so I, I don't know, it's at a foot and a half, two foot of water. Lost a lot of equipment, just uh, bain marees and freezers, and walk in. So we're out of commission for a while, probably a month or so. We're back in business, it's great to be on high ground. How did you make out with your house? That was on low ground, not so good. But you're open? We're open. We'll have to come here. Back in business, uh, over and over. Great, our favorite restaurant, uh, yay! Where should I go to get the worst devastation in the North End? Yeah, go up to North Street, just head up to the beach. Okay. You'll see it, then head north. I'm on North Street near the beach. It's like a snowstorm, but instead of snow, it's sand. What's that thing you got in your hand? It's a survey equipment for natural gas. For precautionary reasons, we're just checking the hardest hit areas. Here in the south end, and that's where we're heading next. Yeah. We're also gonna check the bayfront, all the homes along the bayfront, where the docks are, anything that might have flowed up to hit a gas meter, we're checking there. This is a standard plastic picket rail fence. Hard to believe.
Let us pause in life's pleasure and count many a tears while we sob, sob sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, our time come again no more. Well, they're all about four feet under, you know, so. Four feet of sand? Yeah, yeah, probably about four feet of sand. So sand's in the living area? Well, this house right here, they got four feet inside, and the house over has four feet oh, inside yeah. because the walls caved in. Are these houses just wrecked? Yep. Yeah. Is a song the sigh of the weary Our times, our times come again no more Many days have you While we see birth and beauty and music light and gay, there are free forms fainting at the door. Though their voices are silent, their pleading looks will say, Oh, hard time, come again. Is the song the sigh of the weary? Oh.